Now, I don't know who I'm being introduced to. I'm Senator Bob Huff. Senator Bob Huff, yeah. hello. I'm Maria Sanchez Pleased to meet with KADYTV.com. Senator Huff, why is it that you're here at the Harley Davidson Born to be Wild Ride at the Reagan Library? Well, I was actually invited by the executive director of the Motorcycle Dealers Association because they have to deal with those of us in Sacramento. He knew I was a rider. He said, hey, you ought to come join us. So oh. it was a great time. So you're not just a poser, you're a rider too. I'm actually a rider. Yeah. I, I, you know, I've been riding little bikes most of my life and I traded up to a Harley a couple years ago. Did you? So the I real did. deal. I got yeah. a Road King Classic. It's a great bike. And what fun. I mean, did you ride also from one of the dealerships too? We rode from the Anaheim Fullerton dealership. Yeah. And how many miles was that? A 75, I believe, is what it was. And it was another 15 or so for my house to get down there. Good for you, because I am in here in Ventura County, okay. and for whatever reason, either dealership wasn't involved today. I'm not quite sure why, but whatever, so I rode on my own. And this is the most inclement weather I've ever ridden in, because I'm a fair weather rider. I've actually been in rain and snow before, so this is actually a, a wow. cakewalk. <laughs> wow. So, Senator, do you want to speak to our viewers about anything that you are finding priorities, challenges, what it is with your campaign, elections, candidacy? Well, fortunately, I'm not up for election this year. Uh, that's a good thing because people are angry out there. I just encourage people to take a look at the people, get to know the issues. I hear some say throw all the bums up, but not everybody there's a bum. Right. And, and so you got to hold people accountable. But the flip side of that is when people are doing a good job, reelect them. But that takes a little responsibility from voters. And there are some really good people in the legislature pounding their head against the wall every day, wishing people would get behind them and trying to find a way to make a difference in spite of being in the minority. And I think most of the good guys are in the minority right now, personal advertising there. But anyway, <laughs> just okay. stay engaged. Do what you can. Good for you. Do you want to give our viewers contact information about you? You can uh, just Google Bob Huff, B-O-B-H-U-F-F, and it'll bring up. I have two websites, my private and my state. State, you get all kinds of information. People can sign up for uh, uh, email lists, and I'll keep them up on things I do. I'm currently vice chair of transportation, so whenever we have uh, issues related to motorcycle, like those illegal pipes that they're clamping down on, you know, that comes before my committee, and I always represent the motorcycle guys in that, you know, in that I, I know the industry. I, I mean, I am a bike rider. So, and I'm also vice chair of education. So, you know, we got some interesting things going on in the state. Yeah, when that was coming around, it was circulating amongst my email tree with the, with the bike riders. And it was like, one of the adages with Harleys are, are loud pipe saves lives. I've got to, that patch. I just don't have it on this. Yeah, but to an extent, obviously. We don't want to, you know, stop conversations as yeah. we roll by. But you do need to know that the, if sometimes they don't see or it doesn't register, but you hear and you know right. what's going on. Well, and I told the author of that legislation, Fran Pavley, was the one that, that wrote that I said you know the problem is it's a perception thing and even when you have legal pipes people don't like it if they're driving by their house and she happens to represent an area that has Mulholland drive go through it she gets a lot of complaints from neighbors I said they would complain if they were legal bikes you know and it's hard to tell the difference sometimes for modified pipes and regular pipes right and and we as writers have to be you know right we have to be courteous exact courteous yeah. is the right word because that's kind of the backlash you get, you know, punitive measures like this that in the vast scheme of things are going to make zero contribution to the environment or the noise, but, you know, it makes somebody feel good. And I don't know about you, but I get 50 to 55 miles to the gallon and it takes the cheap gas. It's Absolutely. not, you know, it's... You know, what's with that? <laughs> well, pretty soon they're going to say, well, that's not enough. You only got two wheels. You got to get you know, twice as much anyway. So. Yeah. <laughs> so thank you so much for your time. It was a thrill to meet you too, Senator you. Bob Huff. Maria Sanchez reporting live from the Reagan Museum. We're actually at Peace Plaza for the Born to be Wild Wild. And then these two gals, they're doing something with Harley and Pink. So I yeah. think they're with the, they said they'd come talk to me too. So appreciate your time. All right. Great Good luck with here. everything. Thank you. You're welcome.